10,000 years ago. In the shadow of glaciers and frozen forests, lived one of the most fearsome predators the world has ever known, the saber-toothed tiger. Its long, curved teeth could pierce through flesh and bone. Its body was built for power, not speed. And its roar echoed through the ancient lands. But today, this mighty beast no longer exists. What happened? Why did a top predator, the king of its time, vanish forever? Let's go back in time to find out. First, let's clear something up. The saber-toothed tiger isn't actually a tiger. Its real name is Smilodon. Smilodon lived in North and South America during the Ice Age, about 2.5 million to 10,000 years ago. It was about the size of a lion, but heavier and more muscular. The most famous thing about it? Its teeth. Two long, sword-like canine teeth, up to seven inches long. Perfect for stabbing into the soft necks of its prey. But those deadly teeth were also delicate. And that was one of its weaknesses. Smilodon lived during the last ice age, a time when massive animals roamed the land. Woolly mammoths, giant ground sloths, bison, camels, and even giant beavers. There was plenty of food. And Smilodon, with its powerful jaws and strong arms, hunted these animals with ambush tactics. It would hide in tall grass or behind trees, then pounce. But nature doesn't stay the same forever. Around 12,000 years ago, the Ice Age started to end. Temperatures rose. Ice melted. Sea levels rose. Forests turned into open plains. And the animals Smilodon hunted began to disappear. Without those large, slow herbivores, Smilodon had fewer options for food. Its body wasn't made for chasing fast prey, it was built for power, not speed. In this new world, Smilodon was slowly becoming a misfit. But climate wasn't the only problem. Something new arrived on the scene, humans. Early humans were smart. They used weapons, worked in groups, and could plan hunts. They hunted the same prey Smilodon did, and sometimes, they may have hunted Smilodon itself. Evidence from fossil sites shows human tools near Smilodon bones, suggesting humans and saber-tooths crossed paths. It's possible humans outcompete Smilodon in hunting, and may have helped drive it to extinction. As prey animals died out, competition increased. Smilodon struggled to adapt. Its strong body, once an advantage, now required more food than was available. Its teeth, once deadly, could break if used the wrong way. And without a stable ecosystem, even a top predator couldn't survive. By 10,000 years ago, Smilodon was gone. Today, we know about Smilodon from the fossils it left behind, especially at places like the La Brea Tar Pits in California. Thousands of bones have been found there, preserved in sticky natural tar. Scientists study these bones to learn how Smilodon lived, hunted, and died. And while we still don't know the full story, most agree. Smilodon's extinction was likely caused by a mix of climate change, loss of prey, and competition with humans. Even though it's extinct, the saber-toothed tiger lives on in our imagination. It appears in movies, books, museums, and even video games. Its legacy reminds us of a wild past, a time when nature was fierce, and survival was everything. The story of Smilodon is more than just a tale of extinction. It's a warning about how delicate nature's balance can be. The saber-toothed tiger ruled its world for millions of years. But in the end, even the strongest couldn't escape the changes of the earth. From ice to fire, from beast to bone, Smilodon's time came to an end. But its story continues to roar through time.